I'm Lenora. I'm Devin. I'm Lenora. We've been coming for a few years now since we moved, at the, we moved to Orlando at the end of 2007. That was crazy. We're going in. Some reading program, mm, groovy genetics. We went to the groovy what? Gala, Galileo and um, Newton program. Oh, you remember the snake, the snake program was a fun program. What snake program? Well, we learned how to identify snakes. Oh yeah, that one. Yes, and we've been to some of the zoo programs. Zoo? Um, we've been <laughs> to the canine program. What we've been canine? To the firefighters. What fire? What fire? Even fire? Time, time. We've been to a lot of programs. My favorite part was seeing, make, trying to see the DNA from the strawberry that sending the strawberry to see the DNA from. I like my, that my because I like chopping up the strawberries and whatnot. My like favorite that. was when I got the candy. <laughs> when we did the DNA strand. Yes, that was that was, that was fun. <laughs> the snake program that I mentioned earlier. I know they definitely learned from Groovy Genetics with the snake program. Because we've had a few snakes um, in our garage or our backyard. And so we definitely were able to learn to identify what? the red corn snake and it's not dangerous. And the red snake? Yep. Yeah, yeah, that one. Not dangerous. And so we still have our car, our identification car, to remind us of they went away. Uh, snakes. Uh, what to look, well, who's to look for from a distance? <laughs> We're trying to identify snakes. They went away. And me and Noah were also proud to be the only one who had fam who had family traits in the class was Hofstrom. <laughs> Yes, that was part of the group of genetics also when we did the like, color of your hair and um, right? <laughs> everyone in our family. Eyes and And we homeschool, so we can include them in school. And, and we love that there are always those books on display that you can check oh, out afterwards man. to read more about the program. And so we usually do that. We check out lots of books. Lots and lots of lots. One time, uh, one time we even, yeah, one time we got the maximum 100. We get a lot of books, yes. That's it. true, sometimes we get lollipops and check it out books. Yeah, we check out five books, well, we try to, but we don't always because my main focus is looking for new Pokemon books. Summer? Yes, sometimes I stay up all night reading books. I love books, there's no way I could read more books. I can read. During the year, we may do something that was related to the summer program, and so then we can refer back to that program that we went to. Why? Um, I was really so disappointed if y'all didn't have this program. Um, hmm, we'd have to find something else, because I think that, that keep them involved, because usually I uh, get them to do journal writings or Something related to the program. Then the clock at the library. And I would just be so disappointed if y'all didn't have it. Um, yes, I buy a few books, but since we come to the library so much, then we get to check out a whole lot of books. And he reads a lot, and he likes being read to it. I own too much books already. Right I like to read. I own. I own. <laughs> I like to read. I like to read. Too much to read. Including the other copy that I have to talk to the I like to read too much. But but yes, it um, encourages them because I we usually participate in the summer reading program oh. as far as trying to uh, make sure they read something every day, which um, I mean that comes pretty easily, but still it's an extra incentive.